Hello YouTube, this is actually a review I've been waiting to do because I've been a fan of the series since I first bought my 360 Saints Row 3 or Saints Row the 3rd Now, this game was uh, honestly a step down from Saints Row 2 but it's still an amazing game Now, if you're a first time person to this game series then is a must buy. You must have this game. Now, if you are a, a veteran, not just a casual gamer to the series, a veteran of Saints Row, I would honestly recommend Brent. I'll get into that later. First, if you're just a new person walking into Xbox 360 or even the series Saints Row, pick this game up and pick up the second because even though you, the story might be off to you, the gameplay won't. The gameplay was in a way for me a step down. One, they said it was bigger, but it just didn't feel big. The um, steel port did not feel big at all. Many of the things in this game, I know I'm going to compare a lot to Saints Row 2. Uh, I don't know if everyone's going to like that, but that's what we're going to do. Um, say you're driving around Saints Row 2, you will memorize that map really fast because so many of it is unique. Saints Row 3? No. It just becomes a lot of pointless buildings and you just drive by them and yeah. That was very disappointing. The scenery did not impress me whatsoever. Um, that but we're going from new guys the game is very fun the game was fun for veteran and new but I 100% of the game first week it came out without playing it all day all night just I got home from work and school got the time I'd play no problem for me whatsoever which was kind of sad but I'm also I played Saints Row 2 to death and Saints Row 1 pretty good. <sighs> Customization for your character and cars did feel the same character a little more. Um, the radio, the music, the sound, all good. Music, variety for all tastes in music. Classic, rock, metal, rap, pop, no, no country actually, not that I know of. Um, the story. If you are going for the story in the game, start from the first, go to the third. Plain and simple. Very good story. Even if you're new to um, the third, you will still understand it. It is very fun. It's very humorous in this one. They take the comedy up a lot. And they just nailed it. It was one of the funniest games I've ever played. And funnest. I'm not going to complete this on it. It's obviously not going to get a perfect review from what I said at the start. It was a downgrade. It was a downgrade because of the size they could have pulled off. And the gameplay could have been expanded a lot. Very short too cut off way too short. There could have been um, activities a lot, lot less. Probably like one third of the activities in Saints Row 2. Um, missions. There were probably like two thirds of the missions in Saints Row. That's, this is not including DLC either. DLC so far has been not too proud of. I get all the achievements in them the first day, no problem. That's the, I, I love this game to death, but it, it sucks saying that the honest truth about it was a step down, but it's still a great game that you should, I'm bouncing, um, that you should pick up, um, for new time gamers, buy, for veterans of the series, rent, for middle, it's at your discretion, because I'm giving this game a 4 out of 5, 
mainly because it was a step down from Centro 2 and it, they could have done a lot more with the activities and missions and size even not even size but they could have so try this game out especially if you are new to the gaming world or Centro series so please comment, rate, and subscribe and give me ideas for games to review because I'm going to run out eventually. All right.